Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make three more delicious, easy Halloween treats. We're going to be making mummy pizzas, some dirt pudding cups, and Reese's peanut butter cup bats. You can make as many of these as you like, you know, just a handful for your own kids. You can make a lot for a Halloween party because it's so super easy. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. All right, y'all, so for our first Halloween treat, we're gonna be making some mummy pizzas. Now, my kids love these. I've already done a lot of prep work for this particular part of the video. And what we have here, dough, this is biscuit dough. Now, if you want to, you can use canned biscuits. Y'all know I, can, I don't like canned biscuits. So just make your biscuit dough. And then I scooped it out in about a third of a cup, a little bit shy of a third of a cup of the dough I scooped out. And then I just rolled it into balls like so. And then you're gonna take these and put it on your baking pan. This has got parchment paper on it. And then you're just gonna press it out. You can use the bottom of a glass if you want to. I have sprayed my hands with cooking spray so that they don't stick. And then you're just gonna press them out into a flat circle. Now you don't want these to be really thick because they're gonna poof and they're gonna rise, especially if you use a biscuit recipe that has a lot of baking powder in it. So I'm just gonna press these out eh, a little bit shy of a quarter of an inch thick. Alrighty, so I have some of these and you can see about how big I have these pressed out. Pretty thin. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take, let me get my bowl. We're gonna take some pizza sauce here. And then you're just gonna put a little bit in the center and then we'll spread that out. Now this sauce is kind of thin. You can use whatever your favorite pizza sauce is, doesn't matter. It don't rightly matter. All right, just going to spread that out a little bit. Hope it doesn't run over the edge. Amber, you got a lot of sauce there. Okie dokie. So now that we have the sauce on our little biscuit dough rounds, we're gonna put on some eyeballs. All right, so now we're gonna put on some eyes. And what are we gonna use for eyes? We're gonna use some olives. So set that over there and what I've done is you take the olive and you cut it in half. See how it looks like a little eyeball? I'm just going to push it right down. I mean, you can cut slices if you want to. I just cut them in half and then that makes your eyes. So now for our mummy wrapping, we're going to be using some string cheese. We're just going to take pieces of this and just tear it like so. Just tear it again and then just lay it on top. And I'm gonna trim around the edge of it with a knife here in a minute. So let us peel another piece here. You just lay it however you want. However you want it to lay on there. Then see, you can use the cheese to kind of like hold the little eyeballs on, right? <laughs> How cute is that? All right. So I went ahead and I put all the cheese on there and I trimmed up around the edges with a knife. So now I'm gonna throw these in the oven at 375 degrees and they're gonna take about 12 or 13 minutes. Just keep an eye on them, okay? You just want your biscuit dough to be done. Oh, let's spread that up. You want your biscuit dough to be done and you want your cheese to be nice and melted. So anyway, when they're finished, I'll show them to you. All right, I just took them out of the oven and how cute is that? I mean, as cute as a mummy can get, right? <laughs> my kids love these they're fast they're easy and you know what you can make as much dough as you want and you can make a whole lot of them in one sitting just fill your oven up with these you know fast halloween appetizer snack meal whatever you want to call it anyway i hope you like this and stay tuned for our next halloween treat Alrighty, moving on to treat number two what i have here is a lovely big bowl of chocolate pudding and now we're going to be putting Putting the pudding, putting the pudding, <laughs> I just got all my hand into these water glasses. Now I got these, why is the camera not focusing? Focus. Anyway, these little water glasses I thought were so cute and I got them at Dollar Tree. You get five for a dollar, so you know, that would be pretty good for a Halloween party. And we're just going to take these and fill them up about three quarters of the way because we're gonna be crushing up some Oreos here in a minute and putting that on top. So just fill up your cups, like I said, about three quarters of the way. 
and then we're going to crush up Oreos and put that on top to make it look like dirt. So let me finish filling these up and I'll be back. Alrighty, so now we're going to be using some Oreos. Basically, we're just taking these babies apart like so. We're going to be scraping out the filling and then putting the actual cookie part into this bowl. So this is going to take me a while and I'm going to do a handful. Ah, I dropped it in there. No! All right. It's okay if you get a little bit of the frosting in there. It doesn't really matter. So just try to take the frosting off the best you can. And then just put the cookie in your bowl. And when we get a handful in there, we are going to mash it up and make crumbs. All right, so now we have this all nicely powdered. There's some clumps in there. I think it looks like rocks. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're just going to take some of this and you're just going to spoon that on top of your pudding. See how that looks like dirt? Just keep on doing that until you've used up all of your crumbs. Okay, and then I'm going to do it with the last one. Alrighty, so now let's decorate them up just a little bit more. I got these Halloween Pops. These came from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And then I think they had like Frankenstein heads. And I know I saw some witch hats, but um, they are so cute. Now the decorations here, the eyes and this greenery here, that's actually printed on the wrapper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, excuse me, I'm just going to stick the sucker down in the cup as is. And that way, you know, they can take it out, you know, just clean it off a little bit. And then you can have the sucker for later. So we're going to take this and just stick it down in there like so. Just kind of work the dirt around it. And now let's do a pump again. Come on, fella. Okay, and just work the crumbs around. And now let's do another, ooh, I've got crumbs everywhere. Let's do another ghosty ghost. I like there's six in a pack. I just thought these were so cute, you know? All right. And now we have some gummy worms. These things, oh, this brand, this brand right here smells so good. So, so good. And we're just going to take one. I'm sorry, little fella. You're going to be in a video. And then we're just going to stick them down in there like so. Just lay one on top like that. Why are you falling sideways, fella? All right, let's see what other colors we got. No, I don't, I just did a green. I don't do a green one. Aha! No, that's got green on the end, too. Daggum! I'm sick of this. It don't matter. <laughs> All right. Just stick it down in there. And now I'm going to do that to the other two, and they will be done. All right. So I've got all of my worms on there. And these are going to be called done. So anyway, let me clean up my mess, wash my hands, and now we can start on our third and final Halloween treat. All right, y'all, this is our third and final Halloween goodie for this video. And we have the wonderful, wonderful Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. I have five of them laid out here. Of course, make however many of them you want, okay? And next, we're going to be picking up this tube of decorating gel. So I have some sprinkles over here that look like little eyeballs. Oh, let me get them. See, these sprinkles, they look like little eyeballs. So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be taking some of this frosting, this gel, and putting a little blob on there, and they're gonna be sticking the eyeballs on. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing that for all of the peanut butter cups. Uh, they're staring at me. <laughs> All right, so once again, we're going to be taking some Oreos and just taking them apart and scraping out the icing and throwing that off to the side. All right, and then we are going to break the Oreo piece in half. And once again, we are taking this, our, turn it right side up, taking our decorating gel and putting a blob on the back side of our Oreo piece here and just sticking it down like so and that is making our little bat wings so let's do this piece over here stick that down how cute is that all right now if you have frosting you want to use frosting instead of this gel that's fine too because the frosting actually holds up better so now you know what let's put we're gonna do this one this way to make it look like they're in various stages of flight there's a little bit on here 
and stick that down like so. All right, and now I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. All right, so we are done. There's all of our little Reese cut bats. They all look like they're flapping their wings up and down and up and down. I think they're pretty cute. So, fast and easy. I tried to make this video as quick as possible, but yet, you know, still being informative and trying to give you a good idea, you know, just some fast and easy things that you can throw together for Halloween. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Stick around after the video, and I'm going to run the photos of each one of these things by you once again, you know, so that you can see everything that we made. But anyway, if you would, give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!